Okay, so here we go inside the box. Very nicely wrapped, sort of premium unboxing experience. So this is some really nice thick material that just feels really protective. This case is what I would call a semi-hard case. And everything is expertly packed with a lovely piece of protective foam. Then inside we have the Raven Eye. So the Raven Eye unit, actually smaller than I expected. Again, these plastic bags are quite thick and tough feeling. They feel sort of anti-static as well, which is quite nice. Then we've got your standard USB-C cable. Um, what looks like two USB-Cs to USB-Cs separately, but wrapped together. So we've got sort of HDMIs, USB-Cs, a whole mixture here. Depending on which camera you have, you're covered with your HDMI ports. Once we take off this part, you can see this is the main unit of the gimbal. It's carbon fiber arms. A lovely protective piece of rubber. It's like a jigsaw piece on here to keep it nice and secure. Uh, protective film over there. So underneath we can see it says RS4 Pro. But that's a nice little piece. This doesn't feel like something you'd throw away. It feels like something that you would keep to you know, protect that arm there. You just slide it around. Um, why not keep it? Have all the protection you can get. So we've got a zip all the way across. You've got your silica gels. Now there's no harm in just leaving that in there until it's fully saturated to protect the gimbal. All your manuals there. Um, access to a light cut app, which is your video editing app. You've got stickers there. So for the focus, the fizz focus motor, three separate stickers so you can assign it and know exactly which one is which if you have more than one. Um, another sticker there, quick start guide, instructions for all the components. So I'll have a read of that later. So this actually has got a lovely little clip here to keep it solidly down so it's not rattling around too much. That's quite good. Let's zip that back up. And this is um, another plate. So if you have a bigger setup, you might want to use this longer plate so that you can balance it more efficiently and effectively. Nothing else in there. So these netted pockets feel fairly robust and a nice bit of stretch to them. So when you want to add the focus motor to the bottom of your gimbal, this is a plate that you would apply in between and that will slide into the main plate. And this is the new style of focus motor. A great improvement over the previous generation. So it's more powerful. Also, it's got lights that assign and tell you whether it's for focus, iris or zoom. So on most cine lenses, they've got geared rings over all three of those things. Not every lens obviously has a zoom on it, but for those that do, you can assign this function to those. And they've upgraded the size, so it's now the standard 15 millimeter rod size. And that would be coming out of this rod potentially, attach it with a pole, which I'm sure I'll find in a moment. Got a lens support there. Got a universal gear so that if your lens doesn't have gearing in it naturally, you can wrap this around your lens and then that will work in conjunction, in conjunction with this to rotate the focus or the zoom or the iris of your lens. We've got a standard Allen key there. So in here we've got a load of bolts for attaching the different elements and also this plastic one here will be for attaching this lens support. And this looks like another adapter for this part here. Now this is another option to attach the 15mm rod. 
Now this is the briefcase handle mount, and this will mount to the side of the gimbal on this part here. So it also has a cold tube mount on the top and an ARRI connecting pin thing here. So this is the 15 mil bar, which is an upgrade from the previous generation. So thicker industry standard metal rod there. Now this is the version you get in the Pro kit and it's a nicer, stronger, sturdier tripod. And it's metal, but it's not heavy or anything, but it is heavy duty. So it's much more robust than the one you get in the standard setup. And this would attach to the bottom of the battery grip on the gimbal to support the gimbal if you want to set it down for any moment. So this is the phone mount that comes with the NATO clip. So you can clip it just the same place you'd put the briefcase handle on the side of the gimbal. But you can also loosen this part off and then that will go in on the end there. You see it's got the two, the two um, bits that seat in there to stop it rotating in those two holes. So then you can have your phone mounted on the top of the handle here. Here's the battery, no juice in it. Only one screw hole at the bottom where the tripod could go in straight away if you want to. If you get the upgraded battery that's a bigger size, it comes with that size screw hole and a bigger one as well for more versatility. But yeah, that's out of juice. But now you can upgrade, you can uh, charge it with a USB-C port in the actual battery. You don't need to have it attached to your gimbal to charge, which is great. So this is the standard plate that most people will use with their gimbal. And it has this piece, which when you press that release button there, that will attach to your camera underneath. And then you can slide your camera in here like so. And then that just goes to tighten it there. And that's the standard plate that you'll be using.